Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Drone Cage Obstacle Course at AirVenture. DJI welcomes updated Canadian drone rules. And WAI welcomes drone pilots and operators. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. The world's greatest aviation event is but a week and a half away, and for drone flyers, EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2017 will welcome back the popular drone cage obstacle and speed course presented by Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Experienced UAV pilots can test their skills in a fun, challenging daily competition. The challenge will run daily from 3 to 5 p.m. inside the drone cage at Aviation Gateway Park. Attendees can use one of the quadcopters provided by Phil's Hobby Shop or Horizon Hobby. For those not quite ready to test your drone flying skills against the world, enjoy the excitement by watching the action from the 360 degree viewing platforms as well as a live video feed. The pilot sign up for the AirVenture Drone Cage Obstacle Course will be available on site at the Embry Riddle Aeronautical University booth. Awards will be given to the winners of the Daily Course Challenge. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. <laughs> Folks, we really need to be careful out there. California fire officials are again warning hobby drone operators not to fly their aircraft near any wildfire. According to the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection's statewide fire map, 16 wildfires have already damaged nearly 49,000 acres as a summer heat wave continues and the fire season following a drought in the state could get worse. Australia CAA has decided to make an example of some wayward drone pilots. Drones flown near an Easter egg hunt and a wedding have cost their pilots hundreds of dollars in fines. A drone pilot has also been fined $1,440 for flying in Sydney Harbour restricted airspace and flying within 30 meters, approximately 100 feet, of people. The fines are the latest in penalties imposed by the Civil Aviation Safety Authority for breaching the drone safety rules. Again, let's be careful out there. AMA worked hard contributing info to a new Florida law that went into effect on July 1st, the Unmanned Aircraft Systems Act. The state law prohibits local governments from regulating drone and model aircraft operations in Florida, protecting those flying safely and within the bounds of the law from unnecessary and burdensome local regulations. It does allow local governments to enact or enforce local ordinances relating to illegal acts such as voyeurism, property damage, and harassment arising from the use of drones and model aircraft. Earl Lawrence, director of the FAA's UAS Integration Office, had a goal at the FAA's UAS Symposium held earlier this year in Washington, D.C., interact with the users. He told ANN CEO and Editor-in-Chief Jim Campbell on the sidelines of the symposium that in that measure, the event was a resounding success. Check out our Aero TV interview on the AMA Drone Report YouTube channel at amadronereport.com. That was our Drone Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Transport Canada recently revised its interim order on drone use. The new interim order replaces an earlier version that put unreasonable restrictions on safe and responsible drone use across Canada. The revised interim order summarized in this Transport Canada fact sheet reduces or removes earlier restrictions that had effectively barred drones from flying in most settled parts of Canada. The changes come after more than 2,000 drone advocates across Canada sent thousands of messages urging Transport Canada to improve the interim order, making clear that their voices have been heard. DJI strongly supports the revised interim order. The company had called on Minister Garneau to make reasonable changes to the interim order that would allow drone enthusiasts the ability to fly their drones safely until a new regulatory regime comes into force. 
While DGI believes some of the restrictions in the new interim order can be further improved in draft regulations expected to be released soon, it appreciates Minister Garneau's efforts to respond to the concerns of safe and responsible drone pilots. Women in Aviation International, one of the organizations representing women in the aviation community, has reached out to the drone community via a new Women and Drones organization to encourage women involved with drone operations to be part of WAI. Quote, drones are an important emerging segment of our industry, says WAI President Dr. Peggy Chambrian. We welcome women from all aspects of aviation and look forward to a meaningful exchange of expertise and information with them. Dr. Chabrian has been named to the Women and Drones Advisory Board and recently participated in a Women and Drones podcast. Dr. Chabrian was interviewed by Wendy Erickson, an Emmy award-winning journalist, FAA certified remote pilot, and Women and Drones advisor. Founded by Sharon Rossmark, who serves as the organization's CEO, Women and Drones is a gathering point for women involved in all aspects of drone operations and strives to raise the profile and visibility of women in the UAS industry. In addition, Women and Drones supports the efforts to inspire more girls in the areas of science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.